Good afternoon and welcome back. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection and our time for reflection leader is Mr David Campbell, church and community pastor at Madison Evangelical Church in Falkirk. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity to address you today. Recently, I was helping children at Madison Primary School learn about their rights and responsibilities. We explored the question, how can I be a good neighbor? We did this by acting out Jesus' timeless parable, the Good Samaritan. One end of the classroom was Jerusalem, the other Jericho. The desks in between became the rocks from which robbers jumped out on the unsuspecting traveler. The children really enjoyed acting that part. A priest and later a temple worker were also traveling along the road that day. Surprisingly, both avoided the wounded man. But the story has a shock. A Samaritan, someone culturally and ethnically different from the injured man, is filled with compassion for the traveler. He stops binds up his wounds, places him on his donkey, takes him to a place of refuge and pays for his care. It's sacrificial service in action. So who's a neighbor to the injured man? The good Samaritan. Jesus concludes the story with words which were powerful then and now. Go and do likewise. It's a wonderful invitation to a life of serving others while getting our hands dirty. And it challenges our presuppositions that there are boundaries to whom we love as our neighbor. This April marks the 50th anniversary of the untimely death of Martin Luther King Jr. In his last ever sermon, he said, the first question the priest and the Levite asked was if I stop to help this man what will happen to me? But the Good Samaritan reversed that question. If I don't stop to help this man, what will happen to him? In the context of the civil rights movement, Martin Luther King was encouraging support for those broken by racial discrimination. His faith reflected the servant-hearted approach of Jesus, who said that he came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. At the center of the Christian faith is a God who, like the Good Samaritan, sees us in our need, who comes to where we are, who gives up his life to forgive all our sins and to heal all our wounds. As we all serve our communities across Scotland, may God help us to serve as we should, to give and not to count the cost.